to you from the Eaton family, Thunderdrome. It's Touring Car Masters. Race one, lane one. This looks like a foregone conclusion. A lot of also rans here. Well, look at this. We got three Dimachinis up against each other. That increases the likelihood that one of them is going to win. So, yeah, the Ford Galaxy in lane two of Paul Taylor. Not doing much. He's sitting in 19th position. We got the, the Audi Quattro of Frank Norman, the, the American, sitting in 11th with Alon Cruz up the middle, the Filipino. And on the outsides, we got the race favorite. It's Carlos Cruz. The Mexican sits in fourth, and he should blow this competition away. In lane five, it's Adam Magat from Malaysia sitting in 21st so unless we have an upset I can't see anything other than a Mexican win good drop of Jimmy Keys at 1, 2 and 3 with Cruz scorching down the outside here comes Frank Norman in 4 taking 2nd but as expected Cruz the Mexican wins no surprise here Carlos Cruz, good win. Frank Norman, he's got that in him. He's got quite a few second places this year, and then he'll kind of go missing for a bit. As for the other Dimachinis, they don't have enough speed. The Galaxy is just too old. But poor old Adam Magat, that makes four last places in a row. Can he get off the bottom? Race 2, it's shaping up to be a pretty good showdown between the competition leader, John Winslow of Australia, in his Alfa Romeo, lane 4, up against the Indian, Rohan Kaur, in his Dimitri Veloce. Now, John Winslow has not missed a championship race all season. Rohan Kaur has won one and beaten John Winslow in meet one. Winslow has gone on to win meets four and five since and has pretty much dominated Rohan since. The other three places, well, we've got another Indian, Daksh Malhotra, in his Porsche 944. Then we have Budi Gunawan, the Indonesian, and Philippe Barbosa of Brazil, both in Sierras. Now, the Sierras are a pretty hot car. But these two just don't seem to be able to crack it into the top 10. Let's see what they can bring this race. Good drop to Rowan, leads onto the flat. Winslow rocket past him in four, and here comes Moody Gunawan flying up in lane two. Wow, he'll take third, but John Winslow beats out Rowan Kaur. Seven straight preliminary wins to the competition leader, John Winslow, beating out Rowan Kaur one more time. Poor old Rowan, he's got a good record sitting in fifth, but too many second places in the preliminaries. He needs more championship race time. Budi Gunawan had a good run, damn good run for the Sierra. Forget about the others. They weren't close enough. Race 3 sees the biggest matchup of the day. We've got 2 versus 3. Phil Rahman sits in second in the competition. He won the last meet and meet 3. He's up against the Indonesian driver Arif Santoso. He currently sits in third. He's made four championship races this season and has been second overall in two of them. Uh, he needs to beat the best to get into another. He's fifth. I don't think he's got it. Phil Ryman in his big Corvette is just too strong. Lane two, Phil's compatriot. It's Bob Hazel and his big Talladega. Sitting in 14th position, 
I wouldn't expect too much from him, but he's a great car. The Aussie, Mark Sloan, sits in lane three. He does even worse in 19th spot in his GT Scorcher. And then we have the Filipino, Angelo Bautista. Now, this is a dark horse. This guy has a race win this season, currently sitting in eighth. This little turbo Porsche, he can motor. And sometimes he can just pull the upset. Let's see if he's got that in him today. Otherwise, watch the big Corvette thunder down the track. Good even drop. Rollman and Santoso head to head, but look at Rollman rocket on the outside, taking home a good win. He has never looked like he's going to be beaten. That was impressive. Wasn't even close. Once the big thundering Corvette hit the flat, he was like a rocket ship pulling away from Maurice Santoso, who in two meets now has run second in the preliminaries and is getting further and further behind in the points table. Poor old Angelo Bautista. He made his first championship race last meet, getting a fifth overall. It's back to the drawing board for him. And Mark Sloan, that's four lasts in a row. He is getting no speed out of that GT Scorcher. He and Bob Hazel weren't nowhere near the other competitors in this race. Nowhere near. Interesting race for race four. We've got two cars who have wins this season. That's Kenji Sato. He has two wins. Meets one and three. He currently sits in 16th though, because since meet three, he, his form has been woeful. Last meet, he blew a clutch, didn't get any points at all. Arush Patil, the Indian, currently sitting in ninth. His last win was meet two. It's been a downward spiral since then. I'm telling you, my dark horse is Miguel Ferreira in four. That's Sierra, oh, 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 sitting in sixth position, but he hasn't won a race. A whole heap of seconds, but I think this is his best chance to come home with a win against the other two out-of-form cars. The other two guys, oh my god, Din Fan from Vietnam in his Audi Quattro, sitting in 22nd. Not, he hasn't had a happy season at all. And then Alejandro Flores in the Fast Felion, currently last in the competition. He couldn't even buy a win. He couldn't win if he was the only car on the track. <laughs> All right. Who's going to get that fourth spot? Let's see. <laughs> Off there goes the two Sierras ahead here on the inside. The Scorch came up fast on the outside. Ferrero's got his nose ahead in four. Sato was screaming in the second on the outside, but he could not take him down. Ferrero wins his first. Finally, Miguel Ferreira gets his first victory for the season, but it has to be said only just by a bumper over a fast-finishing Kenji Sato. That was the best performance he's put in in a month. That was a very good performance. Arus Patil is still off pace, and Flores and Dinfan so woefully out of at a pace. Race five, and we're gonna see Oscar Meyer in his big bad Corvette sitting in seventh, taking on William Brown the Kiwi, who sits in ninth. He's can the GT Scorcher upset the Corvette. The other three, well, the best is Isaac Washington in 13th, up the middle in his Chevelle. It's a beauty. We got Steve Brock on the other side of him in lane two. The Aussie sits in 18th, and James Rodriguez, the American, sits in 22nd. You can brush out the middle three unless. The outside cars crash, <laughs> but it should be Oscar Mayer win 
in the Copo Corvette. Corvette Camaro head here on the inside. Look at the Scorcher race past the BMW on the outside. He's getting into second spot. I think Washington's coming up the middle. He took second. But it's the Oscar Meyer winning. No upset today. Oscar Meyer. Good win ahead of a fast finishing Isaac Washington, who really impressed me getting that big lumper car down the track. But Oscar Meyer, second overall last meet. Books himself a rematch with Phil Rahman. It's going to be Corvette versus Corvette one more time. What a beauty. Championship race time and it's a beauty. Five of the top seven cars, four of which competed in the last meets championship race. The newcomer being Miguel Ferreira getting into his first championship race of the season. We've got the two big Corvettes at each other's throats one more time. It'll be between them, I'm thinking, with Phil Ryman in lane three. The favourite to take two championships in a row. Oscar Mayer in five will push him all the way. Then we have John Winslow, the Aussie, in his Alfa Romeo. He leads the competition, but for how much longer if Phil Ryman keeps building up victories? Then we've got Carlos Cruz, the Mexican, in his Dimachini. On the outside lane, he's a dark horse. He could, on his day, make a good run. All right, can anyone beat Phil Rahman? Good drop to see Elite onto the flat. Cruz and Winslow ahead here on the outside with Robin squashing out the middle. He takes the line. We stole it from them. What a great win by the big American. Great result by Big Phil Rahman, his Copo Corvette, stealing the win, coming from third. That puts back to back meat championships to his name. He gains four points on the the leader, John Winslow, to within one point now. One point. So if he can beat Winslow again next meet, he'll take the lead. Carlos Cruz was exceptional. The top three cars, Rahman, Cruz, and Winslow, were fantastic. Good effort also by the Brazilian, and Sierra, Miguel Ferreira. And what happened to Oscar Meyer? He lost like half a second of speed there. He just could not foot it. How fast are these touring car masters? We pit. The Meet 7 champion, Phil Rahman, in his 69 Copo Corvette, up against the Firebird Funny Car, the champion of champions. Good races, they connect onto the flat, but here goes the Firebird screaming off. The Corvette's trying to catch him. It was a pretty good race. The champion of champions is victorious, but the Corvette wasn't disgraced. <laughs>